Hello, my Cracker Jacks. Welcome to my Cracker Jack box. Kiki here, coming at you with another spooky story. Oh yes, we have an urban legend from England to discuss today. If you are a returning Cracker Jack, much love to you. If you're a brand new Cracker Jack, much love to you. We love everybody here. <clears throat> if you are a brand new Cracker Jack, if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe turn that notification bell to all. I'm a hot mess express. You never know when I'm gonna drop a video and you don't wanna miss any of my urban spooky stories, do you? If you're a brand new Cracker Jack and you wanna get into my Cracker Jack box, all you have to do is send your name, your address, and your email to Kiki's Cracker Jack Box at gmail.com or slide into my DMs on Instagram, Kiki's Cracker Jack Box. So, what do we have today? Today, we have the urban legend of Black Anise. Now, there's many ways this has been told with different types of the name Anise, Anna, so forth. Same concept, same urban legend. Are you getting spooked? It takes place in England. It's an English folklore urban legend. This urban legend says that there is this boogeyman figure, woman, and that she is, she's said to be like a blue-faced hag or witch, and she has iron claws, and she craves human flesh, especially the children, yes. She has, she haunts the countryside of Leicestershire, yeah, messing up the name. Not really, it doesn't really matter. And that she lives in a cave in the countryside on a hill. It's said there is a great oak tree that marks the entrance to her cave. She is very fond of the children, especially eating them. You know, finger licking good. <laughs> no. <gasps> yes. She goes out at night and she haunts the countryside. She's looking for prey. Something to eat. She's very, very, very fond of the children and she will taunt them and it's said that she can reach into their house and yank them out without a sound without a scream. The parents don't even know the children are gone until they wake up and they're not in their beds. It's said, <clears throat> pardon me, it is said that she has these iron claws for hands and that she actually dug her own cave into the side of the hill. Pretty creepy, huh? I think so. It's there that she takes her prey, her children, and she eats their human flesh. Now, it's also said that she takes their hides, you know, the skin, and she hangs them on the oak tree to tan and dry. And then, oh yes, and then when they're dry, she takes them and she hangs them around her waist like a belt, like pelts hanging from a belt. She wears them like a badge of honor. The countryside is terrified of her. And in fact, like most urban legends, the parents, well, they'll use it to their benefit. No? Oh yes. They use it to keep their children in line. They tell their children, you better behave. You better do your chores and go to school. You better not talk back to your parents or 
Black Anise will come get you. She'll snatch you away in the middle of the night. Of course, the children are frightened and some behave. Does it always work? We will never know because the children that disappear do not come back. She makes a sound with her claws, almost like Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah. And when you hear that sound, you know that she is out and she is hunting and she is hungry. So what did you think of my spooky story tonight? My urban legend from the countryside of England. It's a very popular one in English folklore very scary i don't know there's something about england with the moors and the fog and all that that makes some of the areas very scary and to be able to attach an urban legend to it's kind of neat so what did you think of kiki's spooky story this time i hope you liked it I love telling these spooky stories to y'all. I love y'all. Oh, and don't forget. Kiki loves you.